our final bout of the morning. Yeah, J Jamarcus Grant's up against it right here, Lou. <laughs> I'll tell you what. 285. It is Jamarcus Grant for Purdue. 0-2, the redshirt senior out of Portland, Oregon. Transferred, <laughs> excuse me, from Oregon State. And Gable Steveson, 4-0. Junior out of Apple Valley, Minnesota. Two-time NCAA qualifier. The number one wrestler in this weight class in the nation. 54-2 in his career. He's won 21 straight. Two-time Big Ten champ. First team. All-American. Yeah, don't forget he finished. Oh, that's a disgusting takedown right there. That is just <laughs> magnificent. I mean, he he moves like a lightweight. I mean, he, he, we knew the hype coming in when he came into college a couple years ago. But, you know, he may he, he, you know, he, he lived up to it, taking third in the 2019 NCAA tournament, of course, being the number one ranked wrestler last year at the weight, first team All-American. Definitely the national title favorite once again this year. Well, he won by technical fall versus Purdue last year. I mean, the strength for Steveson is just unreal as well. Again, he, you know, he weighs, well, actually, I will tell you his actual weight in a second here once I get the uh, weigh-in sheet out. But I mean, he moves like a lightweight, which is unbelievable. Well, Steveson, we mentioned 54 and two in his career. He won his first 30 matches out of the shoot. Yeah, his only two losses his freshman year were to eventual national champion from Penn State, Anthony Kassar. And Stevenson weighed in at 253 today. So can you imagine a 253-pound uh, freight train moving around like that, like uh, a 149-pounder? I mean, that, that's Gable Stevenson right there. Four to one in favor of Stevenson. Of course, he won Big Tens right here in the rack last year. Was a finalist for the Big Tens the year before that. Of course, that, that was one of his two losses to Kassar. Actually, he had to end up, you know, it was thought that Stevenson and Kassar were the top two guys at the weight two years ago, but they ended up wrestling each other in the NCAA semifinals. And that forced Stevenson to wrestle back for third place after losing to him again. Stevenson taking a shot, gets two on the takedown. Yeah, you can see Grant there shaking his head. I mean, there's just nothing you can do about that. Once Stevenson gets a hold of you, you're pretty much not going anywhere except down to the mat. 6-2, the score. 45 seconds left in period one. You can tell the strength and the positioning is just so good for Stevenson because Grant is flat on his stomach right now. Very, it's tough for him for him to work up to his knees. Stevenson tried to isolate that arm behind the back of Grant. Couldn't hold it though. Ten seconds, first Final ten seconds. Stevenson's already got that riding time up over two minutes. And first period comes to an end with top-ranked Gable Stevenson up by the score of 6-2. Some earlier action from Panola. The previous match, Purdue's only victory of the morning. Stevenson, of course, right to his feet, and Grant... He's not going to be able to hold him down, so he'll cut him loose. Seven to the score in favor of Stevenson. Oh, my goodness. He's able to track down Grant's foot like that. And he didn't finish the takedown there, but it looked like Stevenson wasn't even close to even getting a takedown after kind of missing, and then he was able just to corral that ankle. Oh, beautifully done by Stevenson. Here we get that trip there. He's going to get some near fall. So you get some near fall points there. It looks like the referee's holding two. 
Basically used that foot, a little bit of an inside trip, kind of just worked him down to the mat as well. And he goes up 11-2 to two with those two points. Nice little four-point move there for Steveson. Riding time, of course, accumulating to two and a half minutes. 45 seconds left in period two. There's that stall warning on Grant, but I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else you could do there. <laughs> I mean, could, he's he's stuck down there, ref. Total domination right now for Steveson heading into the third period. And he's up 11 to 2 with over three minutes of riding time as well. And we head to the third and final period. <laughs> Steveson's ready to start this period now. <laughs> <laughs> now, look at that takedown. Total control. Another one. Looks like Steveson's going to try to go to the Optional start here. Grant gets a point as he gets away. 11 to 3. Steve's got to hold that leg. He's going to flare off to a double. Big time takedown. You heard the big thud. Yeah, you can definitely hear with no, you know, with, with, uh, with no, with no uh, crowd in your Lou, you can definitely hear the thud of that, Matt, when Steve takes you down. 13 3. 10 point. Advantage for Steveson in command. He just, does a, he just does a fantastic job of closing the distance on his opponents. And every time, you know, if, even if he takes a half shot or one of those shots from distance, it causes these guys to move because he's so explosive and he's so fast. Knows every possible position. There's that thunderous takedown again. And he just got another, looks like he just got another one right there. Going to cut him. 15 to 5. Oh, and another one. <laughs> and he gets two more as he keeps his foot in. He's up 17 to 5. I mentioned last year he won by Tech Fall against Purdue. Put up 25 points in that one. I think he's gunning for the record. <laughs> although, <laughs> although he wouldn't get there based on, uh, well, maybe, well, maybe he'll get there. We'll see. Oh, oh, my goodness. Ferocious <laughs> takedown. <laughs> He's got 19. Look out. <laughs> and, I mean, St I mean Steveson, when he's in control like this, he loves those optional starts because he knows the guys on bottom are just going to explode out, and if they don't, they're going to get basically sandwiched with a cradle or just get flattened to the mat. So that if they try to explode out, he's just going to chase after them. 19-7 to seven on the escape. Another double there for Steveson. Again, two more. He's up by 14, so he might not hit the 25-point uh, mark, Lou, unless he goes on top and gets a four-point near fall here, and they'll tack on some riding time as well. 21 to 7. Grant's waiting. 21-8. <laughs> Oh, man. See, Two see, more? I mean, Stevenson just tracks you down, man. 23 to 8, and that will do it. Garrett Stevenson, 24 to 8 with that point of riding time, a dominant performance as he pushes his record to 5 and 0, oh, the number one ranked wrestler in the nation at 285. Yeah, Gable Stevenson is just unbelievable to watch, and he's going to be exciting to see in the Big Ten tournament. And of course, the NCAA's this year, your national uh, final, or excuse me, your um, national title favorite in Gable Stevenson. In Gable Stevenson. <laughs>